It seems like yesterday, back in my second year at ESPN, your first at Duke, when I wanted to find out what this young guy from West Point was all about. Even though you had a rough first few years, it was struggle city to put it mildly. After meeting you, I was so impressed and felt that you were going to get Duke back to the elite of the ACC. As I reflect upon your achievements, I am completely in awe. Your coaching record is proof of the solid gold Hall of Famer you are. But I know Mike the man as well. And man, are you special. It's been an honor to be teammates on the board of the V Foundation, where we do our best to keep Jimmy V's dream alive. Now, as I have endured a six-month fight with several cancers, I have felt your caring ways. Your countless messages have lifted my spirits like you can't even imagine. Yes, my friend, you are the GOAT as a coach, but you are also one of the best people I have ever met. Like millions of other fans, I feel it's been a privilege to watch you in action all these years. Every coach dreams of just one trip to the Final Four. You've been to 12 of them. In an era of fierce competition, you collected more W's than anyone. On top of that, you cut down the national championship nets five times. And let's not forget about gold medals, too. Even with different players each season, the common thread was you. Whether at Duke or at the Olympics, you had some of the game's greatest superstars, and you always found a way to get them all to buy in to your team-first approach. You blended teams better than anyone who has ever graced the sidelines, according to my VBDI. I'm lucky to have been in the building for so many of your biggest moments. I am praying that the journey that you and your general manager, Mickey, will now take includes health and happiness. You are a true legend. Yes, in Vitalese, I would simply say, Coach, you have been awesome, baby, with a capital A. God bless, Dick.